My name is Matt Castillo and I am the director of Salt Lake County Division of Arts and Culture and right now we are in the Janae Wagner Theater which is inside the Rose Wagner Performing Arts Center. It's an incredibly vibrant and active hub for new and emerging and established artists and arts organizations to um, create and present their work. I'm uh, Jenna Woodbury. I am the executive director of the Ryrie Woodbury Dance Company and we are a resident organization here at the Rose Wagner Performing Arts Center. My name is Fran Prine. I'm the artistic director of Pygmalion Productions, and our mission is to give voice to women through the arts. We feel that Salt Lake is really very important, it plays a very important role in the development for choreographers across the nation to come here and have that opportunity to work with a professional dance company. Our uh, organization was really, really um, taken aback. We were all ready to do a live production in May of last year, and just as we were going into rehearsal, we had to cancel the show, or at least postpone the show. Live is what we do. It's what we do best. Well, uh, being a performing arts company, you want to perform for people, and you want to really be able to connect with people in the audience. They feed you energy. We feel that when we're on stage. The, the arts create a gathering place. We're so anxious to return to the theater. I'm Linda C. Smith. I'm the Artistic Executive Director of Repertory Dance Theater, and we're a resident company at the Rose Wagner Performing Arts Center. The greatest asset that helped us weather the pandemic are people. Everybody really jumped right in. Live theater is about the communication between the people on stage and the people in the audience, and every audience gives you something different, more energy, more enthusiasm, more reaction, more laughs, more tears. Well, it's been a very interesting year. Although the Rose Wagner's been closed to the public, the resident groups have continued our rehearsals. Our performances have now been um, virtual. It has been actually a very creative year because we had to find ways to keep going, to keep our dancers uh, doing what they love to do. So we just hit the ground running. You know, just the magic of, of live performances and, and having live audiences. And I think art plays such an important role in, um, in a community and especially in helping us to kind of heal and learn from, from everything that's happened over the last year. I'm just so eager and excited to be able to see um, the community come back and return to these spaces. Now that we're beginning to reopen and see that theaters really return to life with audiences that they're that they're coming back and continuing to support the arts here in, in Salt Lake County.
can't see anyone, but I'm Fontaine. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much to the Salt Lake Arts Council for having us play the show. Um, it's really exciting to play these songs live. Um, this is the first time that they've been played live, so you're hearing them first. Um, yeah, so it's very exciting. We're very happy to be here. Um, okay, so our next song is called My Heart. What was that last one? Hmm. <laughs> I think you raise a good point, Denny. <laughs> That last one was called These Days. Sampler doing our yeah, own we laugh have. tracks. <clears throat> Not laugh tracks. <laughs> They're laughing at us. <laughs> oh, no. All right, we got a love song next. Well, we got a few love songs. This one's called Darlin. Grab your partner and dance. Yep. <laughs> Smile 
Thank you. <laughs> okay, this song is called, wait until everyone's ready. Got lots of quick changes because everyone plays seven instruments in this band, <laughs> except for me. It's Danny, will you turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> it's a requirement. Okay, cool. All right, this song is called Things to Make You Feel Better.
That's the longest song ever played on the stage. <laughs> um, can I? <laughs> I hope that made you feel better. Um, could I be really annoying and get some more vocals in my microphone? Thank you. Um. Okay, we're going to change the mood a little bit. This song's called Diamond Light. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, all these songs are going to be part of my first um, full-length album, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be released later this year. Um, they were all written and recorded last year. Yeah, so I will um, let you know on my Instagram. Um, I show up there occasionally. Um, <laughs> but I will let you know. One more sip. How's it sound out there? Good. <laughs> Thanks to Joey and Ren out there. Seems the matter when I don't come around anymore. Oh, I feel so lonely. I really feel I need to be alone, but I don't think I'm in the state of mind. Let it go and take a look outside. Bye -bye. Suzanne wrote, like the rest of them.
might need to turn this microphone. Um, oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Joan, how did you know that your presence was needed so? Is it true that you had someone? Every morning I wake up and call for you, John, my John. Ah, ah, ah. John, wonder that grows like the ripples of a stone. Every day gets better as I get to know more. Joan, without a word, you have shown me who you are. In a voice, no one can hear you whisper to my heart. Joan, that's who you are. Um, if any of you have seen um, <clears throat> the movie The Girl on a Motorcycle with Marianne Faithful from 1968, um, right after this live stream, go and watch it because it's really good. But I watched it a few years ago and it made quite an impression on me and um, I wrote this song inspired by that film. So you may... Yeah, the song will make more sense if you watch that movie, I'll just say that. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is called Girl on a Motorcycle.
Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Very precious. Thank you. Is that a Bjork? Thank you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's well. Got, yeah, we've got two more songs for you. Um, okay. Denny's, Denny's good because he's prompting me um, to say the things that I forget. Um, but yeah, now is a really good time to um, thank um, once again the Salt Lake Arts Council for having us play this show. Um, thank you so much. Um, I want to thank these very talented people that said yes to playing this show with me and learning a million parts and playing different instruments and crazy harmonies. Um, I'm sure lots of you watching know their faces and know how talented they are. And um, you guys all inspire me. Thank you so much. So yeah, um, okay, this is our second to last song. And I don't usually play favorites for my song, but oh. my songs, but what, what's that doing? Thanks to KUAA as well. They're going to play this on the radio. Oh, yes. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for reminding me, Danny. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just going to say this might be my favorite one. I don't know. This is another love favorites. song. You can, you can play, play favorites. favorites. Yeah. It's my favorite. Thanks, Alan. That's Alan's <laughs> favorite. It's a, it's so we better not blow <laughs> it. No, we said that. <laughs> so first time playing these songs for you. Say it one more time. Oh, thanks to the Rose Wagner Theater too. <laughs> oh, that's right. Thanks. This is an amazing stage. Um, uh, yeah, this is so cool to play on the stage. So thanks to the Rose Wagner Theater for hosting us. Okay. Um, this song is called Someone For You. Waiting for the man to arrive. And there was something telling me today that I might hear from you Yes, I know we're only friends and I don't want to see that end But I can't pretend I haven't been thinking That I could be the one that you are I could be someone
Thank you. It's a nice tune, if I might say so, <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> Thanks, Teddy. Now it's time to bring up the bongos and the That's right. <laughs> So Moo plays many instruments, yeah, um, including the banana. <laughs> he's playing the banana. It'd be rad if that turned into a shaker. <laughs> That'd be cool if this one just magically did. Um, this song is really new. I wrote it like a month ago. Um, and I believe it may be released as a single. It might be. I'm still deciding. Um, yeah. It's um, it's about uh, retrospect and um, learning, looking back, learning from your mistakes. It's called Savannah. Okay. One, two, three. I know it took you to your hands and your knees, but you did. I'm Fontaine. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow Fontaine on Instagram at underscore Fontaine F O E. Well, he said, oh, that's right. Oh, I'm forgetting things. One more thing is we have a show next Thursday evening at the DLC, also known as Quarters. Um, and we go on at 8.45, so we'd love to see you there. Did I, think Did I say it right? Oh, yeah. Uh, to everyone at home listening, thank you so much for listening and enjoying and watching our final virtual brown bag concert of the series. Our, uh, my name is Andre Racine. I'm the program arts coordinator for the, uh, the Salt Lake Arts Council. So big shout out to the Salt Lake Arts Council and the brown bag concert series for hosting these guys. <laughs> Uh, huge thanks to the Janae Wagner Theater for having us tonight. It is a beautiful space that has not been used 
in far too long, so we are stoked to be in here. Um, we have one more brown bag happening uh, next week, but it is not live streamed. It is real and in person and live. And that is next Thursday, beginning at 6.30 at Exchange Place in downtown Salt Lake City. You can actually go to Brown Bag and then just walk over to Quarters because they're right next to each other. So you can see uh, over there where we'll have the <laughs> Metal Arc String Band beginning at 6.30, Mel Soul, and then Branson Anderson. And then, yeah, just walk on over to Quarters and see these guys again. So huge thanks to Fontaine for being here. Uh, and thanks for tuning in to all of our virtual concerts this year and welcome back to live real performing yeah. next week thanks sunspell thanks. for the sound